We still have some vinyl to remove. Let's roll. Welcome back to the vlog. I hope everybody is having an awesome day. We got a ton of stuff to do today. First off, post office. I know, I know, I promised the purple would be gone. It will be in a matter of just probably two minutes or so. So yes, the food vlog is back. We need to go to the bank, pick up some cash for the new project. I'd imagine there will be a merch shout out in today's video. There's a link in the description below. Mail time. Christmas in July. My boy Anthony, you guys remember Anthony from Mad Whips. Well, when I was on a spade rally in Toronto, I, well, my sunglasses, they, my sunglasses didn't get the, oh, I haven't had a new pair of sunglasses in forever. We're balling on a budget. Bye, Sal. See you later, dude. Have a good one. Bye, Faith. Bye. Okay, so change of plans. The purple is not coming off the box quite yet. It will by the end of today's video. But first, we have to make a four-hour trip up to Idaho for for important stuff. <laughs> we, yeah, we got AC in the back right now. Feels nice. I'm gonna have to just chill back here the whole time. We don't have AC in the front, though. I already ate my chicken quesadilla. I kind of forgot to show it to you guys, but I still have I still have nachos, so the it's, food vlog is not dead. Oh, Swedish what? Fish. We got Swedish fish, too. Clayton's a hero. Yeah. Well, my mom's a hero. Uh, Brooke, you are a hero. Thank you so, so, thank you so much. Update on the air conditioning. Look how strong she's blowing. 95 out here in the Astro. We're just chilling, eating Swedish fish. Pocatello. Done. About a month ago or so, Clayton and I picked up a couple motors from Harbor Freight to build our go-karts. Well, that was kind of a failure, so instead, we've found some go-karts here in Iona we're gonna go check out. It really is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <sighs> we've made it here to beautiful Iona, Idaho. The smell of alfalfa and fresh cut potatoes. Mm. Cold startup, I yeah, think, would be the startup, app yeah. name. Check out the girth of these rear tires. It's 11 inches right there. We have the Predator engine, 212 cc's. This baby can top out right around 25 to 28 miles per hour, but with some re-gearing, supposedly it can hit 55. Just under, just under 50, just under 50. This is cart number two. You'll note it currently doesn't have an engine quite yet. Look how low that clearance is. So low. Look at, we need a front end lift. <coughs> We're gonna scrape up our front splitter. It's literally like a quarter inch. On the ground. Moment of silence. All right. This is so sick. So, oh, <laughs> already? Fine. Just like that. Keep an eye out ahead of you for any manhole covers that poke out. Oh. Just stop. That's, I couldn't, could you imagine hitting a manhole cover straight on? What do you think? In the comments below, should we buy these carts? Yeah, probably. I, I think we probably should, but we haven't we haven't quite negotiated yet. So he's asking six fifty. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. Four hundred. This one needs a motor. This one needs a motor. We still we have the motor already though. But I'm actually wedged in. Really? Like the whole cart is gonna lift. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah. So probably a bigger seat. Probably a bigger seat. Yeah, I gotta cut off the Chick Fil A, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> well, if we weren't sold already, Charlie just sold them right there. Look at that. 
Yeah, we're, we're sold. We're, we're gonna take him home for sure. Watch the magic. Perfect fit. I love this Astro Van. <laughs> I love it. Dude, Astro I Vans love it. are sweet. This is a paid product placement for Astro Vans. <laughs> Chevy, send me the money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it fits perfectly in there sideways. This is just... a little wider. It's just, let me, uh, let's just get over here. Yeah. But that's the way it was. So Look at that. I'm glad they fit. Just picked up another fiberglass seat. We got some more rubber, and this is high quality. It's Dunlop. We're running Bridgestone right now, but we got three extra tires, whole assortment of gear in there. It's it's completely possible this will go down as the greatest purchase ever for myself and Clayton. Also, note we put the second cart in with the engine last, just because it's four-hour drive home. You never know. <laughs> yeah. You just never know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We knew immediately we were buying them. So we left, we walked out the door, $1,050, $1,000 for the two carts, $50 for the extra accessories. We did peep the Astro. That was got like the split windows too. What? That right there is the Snake River. Now that we are go-kart owners, everywhere we go is a racetrack. The desire to drive the carts right here is just unimaginable, but we don't want our carts to be impounded before we even get home. That would be bad. So we're gonna be mature, we're gonna do the right thing. We're gonna go find somewhere else. Bear in mind, we are paid professionals. Don't try this at home. But we found this nice carting path. We're gonna go enjoy it. all of our proper permits, of course. Uh, just like always, of course. I'm gonna go. <laughs> We're stuffing this into our Astro Van. <laughs> Best getaway ever. That right there is how it's done. It's as if it never happened. Oh yeah. Just like all great purchases in life, you just buy it, you'll figure out where you're gonna put it later. Well, it's now later. We're in the garage back in Park City. We have two go-karts. I think this one definitely need new tires. We need to get the motor installed on this one ASAP. Yeah. ASAP. Clayton and I will be starting up a racing series. boys we have made it because our parking garage isn't really the greatest place to enjoy this go-kart we're gonna take it outside
we're gonna get in a lot of trouble owning this go-kart. I can already tell. We've crashed it into two columns so far. <laughs> one one column, <laughs> twice. Well, okay, it's still two crashes. Two crashes. And uh, now we're in an uh, undisclosed location in the hills that. above uh, Mexico City in our go-kart. 500 bucks, guys, 500 bucks. Or may not know I'm headed to California in a couple days so in the comments below do you think either a Clayton will get the go-kart impounded while I'm gone or two he'll crash the go-kart and be in the hospital it's really either or it's <laughs> if I'm gonna crash it, it's it's one or the other it's yeah in the comments below I'm going towards impound that's kind of my thought yeah but crash is a very close I don't really want to go to California now <laughs> I just want a cart what do you guys think we should do with these Obviously, I mean, it's, it's pretty much an endless adventure list we could create with these things. But if you have any ideas, put it in the comments below. Like Squad, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to smash the like button. But just like that, this vlog is over, and I'm out.